You know, I've said before, I don't like to talk politics on this show. Uh, the only time I really bring it up if there's gay stuff happening or if uh, Michelle Obama cheats at push-ups. Those are the two <laughs> times I'll bring it up. Lately, some things have happened that I have to speak up about. Recently, I called out uh, Democrat Andrew Yang for stealing my idea of squirting whipped cream in people's mouths. And, uh, cause I did that first. <laughs> and how do you think I won all those Emmys? Everything always starts with whipped cream, really, when you think about it. <laughs> and now I need to call out Republican uh, for, for stealing my ideas. President Trump basically turned the State of the Union into one of my giveaway shows. Uh, how many of you watch the State of the Union? Yeah, me either. Um, <laughs> but it did pretty well. It did, uh, you know, it came in number two, right behind my show, Ellen's Game of Games. But, <laughs> The ratings were huge. Um, but people are saying that parts of the State of Union played out like a TV show, specifically this TV show. I'm not saying it, but it was brought to my attention because first Trump gave away a scholarship, which is very nice, and I, I wonder where that, that idea came from. Uh, oh yeah, me, I gave uh, uh, 500 times to, to uh, <laughs> over and over again. And I'm not even up for re-election. I'm just doing it because I think it's... <laughs> Trump also divided the audience to the, in the State of the Union. It seemed like he was only giving one side what they wanted. I've actually done that before, too. I literally divided the audience and tricked them into thinking only half of them were getting a prize. <laughs> we have time to play a really quick game, and this is going to be a whole lot of fun, where half of the audience is going to win a $100 Visa gift card, OK? <laughs> All right. But only, but only half. You're playing against each other. You're all getting 12 days giveaways tickets. <laughs> And you might think those are just coincidences, but then Trump reunited a family whose husband is in the military, just like I reunite military families. And look, I get it. It feels good to do things like that. And if he enjoys doing things like that, maybe he should stop being president and just be a reality TV star. <laughs> he can still do all that. I'm just saying pay attention to these things, because who knows what he's going to steal next. I mean, maybe next he's going to wax Mike Pence's legs, just like I did Twitch. Remember when I? <laughs> yeah.